Today I have created a quick tutorial for how to create the subgrade sur on top of gravel surface in our corridor, but with the conditional slope slope instruction. So we are tying our our top of gravel to our slopes instead of just ending it straight or going to a certain distance because this distance may well it doesn't vary, but you know. If you have, let's say, conditional instruction on this side, we just wanted to make sure that we'll tie into it because we know it's a three, two, one. We wanted to get this point, as you can see, because the top gravel is a little bit wider. So here is how I done it. Okay, so last time we added the original ground and tying into the original ground slope, so our daylight line. Today I want to add the subgrade again, but I want to tie it to the side slope so we can, we don't have a little gap there or anything. So for, to do that, we're going to go and edit our corridor. And once the edit win window pops up, we're going to choose add a new instruction and we have the top of our subgrade here, top of our gravel here, the point number six, which I should have maybe called. So let's just add it and let's call it top of gravel. So that's our top of gravel, right? Yes. And as you guys can see, I forgot to save this. So we don't have any tines over here. And now we're gonna we're gonna add the new instruction. And I'm gonna scroll over where we have our tie-in lines so you guys can see what's going on. So we're gonna go to slope, 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 slope. We're gonna cho choose our node at the top of gravel node right here. First slope is gonna be minus two percent, which is gonna give us the top of gravel. Second slope node is gonna be our EOG number two to this slope, and there is gonna be three, two, one slope going down and we're going to add that instruction and let's take a quick peek. Oh, I, I got an L there. Let's take a peek. Uh, what did it do? So as you can see, I went the three, two, one slope this way. So we're going to edit that and I'm just going to go with a negative. So boom, right now, so it went here, three, two, one. So this is our subgrade layer. We're going to go and save this and we're going to add another one, which is going to be the same thing. And I don't think let's, let's try to mirror this. I know you see it can't be mirrored because it has a specific slope. So the same thing, it's going to be from six at uh, minus 2%. To the this one is number four EOG and negative three two, one and add that and there you go. So this would be our subgrade. And it's as you can see when I scroll over, it's always tying into the thing slope. So there we go. And if we close this out and we're going to create surface, if you guys remember that one from last, last one of the last videos here. So we're going to create our surface now, a corridor surface here, the full corridor, and we're going to do the top of gravel one and hit OK. And this would give us the top of gravel surface with tying to our design. So if I were to turn on the finish as well, as you can see, you see, so the subgrade is that much wider due to, to the tying into the slope. And if you carry over down for your top of subgrade, that's what you would do the same kind of idea. So hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next one.